use of backdoor Roth IRAs is on the rise. Why? Because older people with financial planners, they're being told to do these things because of potential tax issues in the long run. But also we're seeing it with young professionals in their 20s and 30s, primarily because of the rises of income during repayment plans. Why are those backdoor Roth IRAs so important? Because if you file separately when you're married, then you can't contribute traditionally to a Roth IRA. You have to do a backdoor Roth IRA. Okay, we're also seeing Roth conversions from students that had worked prior to going to school, have 401ks, and then they're trying to roll them over, but they're doing it strategically in the Roth IRAs. Everything seems great, except for there's one little IRS tax rule called the pro rata rule. That is what we're gonna be going through in this video today, and we're gonna deep dive into that. So that way you don't cost yourself a lot of money and a lot of potential fines. All right, so Roth conversions, when do we see this? Again, young professionals that are in school um, that don't have an income now, but they have an old retirement account that they want to convert, and it's very beneficial for them. We see it with people that are on income during repayment plans and married, and they're filing separately. And we see it with high income earners. None of, they can't contribute directly to a Roth IRA, so they have to do a backdoor Roth IRA via a Roth conversion, okay? So how does this, this work? I'm gonna go through a, a couple of scenarios of why this pro rata rule is so important, okay? When you have like an old 401k or an old 403b and you roll it over to a traditional IRA, or maybe you just made contributions to a traditional IRA, maybe you made contributions to a SEP IRA, whatever it may be, okay? Those are all pre-tax. So let's just say you have $50,000 in this pre-tax account and you want to convert this over to a Roth IRA. When you convert it, you're going from a pre-tax account to a after-tax account. Why would people want to do that is because once it's in a Roth IRA, you're never taxed on it again. However, instead of $50,000 being converted, you'd owe tax on that money right now. So instead of $50,000, you might only have thirty dollars or $40,000 that is invested depending on what your tax bracket is. Okay. Now, that is important to understand when it comes to this pro rata rule because this is where people make a lot of mistakes. They say, I have a traditional IRA from before. Maybe it was from an old 401k or whatever it was. Okay. And then they turn around and they say, well, I'm going to start making contributions uh, to a Roth IRA, but I can't for whatever reason. You know, like I said earlier, either you're on an income during repayment plan and filing separately, or you make too much money and you can't directly do it. So you're doing a backdoor Roth IRA. Okay. So the process of doing that is where you put money into a traditional IRA after taxes, because you can actually say this is a contribution after taxes. And then once it's in the traditional IRA, you can convert it over to the Roth IRA and you're good to go. You've already paid taxes on it. You don't have to pay taxes again. No problem. Okay. So I'm going to go through a scenario with you and where we see people run into issues. They'll do something like, Hey, I have $6,000 already in a traditional IRA. That was a rollover from a different company. That was pre-tax money, $6,000. And then they'll turn around and say, well, I need to do a backdoor Roth IRA this year. And so they'll put $6,000 of after-tax money into a traditional IRA. And then they think, well, because that money, I already, you know, pay taxes on it. I'm going to convert that amount. I'm not going to convert the other amount. I'm just going to convert the amount that I put in this year to my Roth IRA. Everything's good. Incorrect. That's where the pro rata rule comes in. The IRS looks at all your pre-tax traditional IRA accounts, okay? So if you have $6,000 in there for uh, like pre-tax money that you rolled over from a 401k from a while ago, then at that point, what's gonna end up happening is let's just say you made a new contribution of after-tax money of $6,000. The government looks at the full $12,000, okay? And when you convert that money over, even if you only convert like a thousand dollars of it, they will say $500 of that was pre-tax, $500 was after tax. And they just take that ratio. And that's what they say. And so that in my example, that $500 you'd have to pay tax on the other $500 you already did pay tax. So you wouldn't have to do it. Okay. Now I know this stuff is complicated. Again, you know, at fit bucks, if you guys need help with this stuff, we convert this and we analyze this stuff for you guys all the time. That's why we know this stuff you know, inside and out. So if you need help, you know, sign up at fitbucks.com. But with this, it's very important. And it's something that I see all the time. Now, there's another video that's going to come up in our Roth IRA playlist that talks about, okay, well, 
if you want to do this and not pay taxes, how do you actually take your traditional IRAs and potentially move them back to a 401k so you can take advantage of these Roth conversions without having to deal with the pro rata rule? And I'll give you an example of that. Um, like I have somebody that I was working with, they had a $200,000 traditional IRA because it was from their old 401k. To them, it makes no sense to do the backdoor Roth IRA because they would have to pay so much taxes. So they were going to contribute like $6,000 a year to convert that to a Roth IRA now. But most of that, because they have such a huge uh, traditional IRA, that the IRS wouldn't care. They would still tax it. Okay. So what that person is doing is actually moving their traditional IRA over back into their 401k. So now they have no more pre-tax IRA accounts. Boom. Now they can do a backdoor Roth IRA. So that's how we can help you guys manipulate this stuff. But like I said, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, you want more information on the Roth IRAs, make sure you hit that, that playlist. If you want more information just on financial planning in general for young professionals, you know, hit that one up too. We'll see you guys soon. Into